How you doing guys? Big Mac Dan School here today, back once again with another episode of Trucking with the Big Mac. Just heading back into the yard from a nice, easy local drop. Um, and yes, I thought I'd do you a channel update, a hobby update and that. Um, I've recently got a new phone using some money from my Patreon. Well, technically I've not, I've just bought it out of my own money. Uh, but I'll be refunding myself with money from, not completely, but half of it. Uh, is going to be paid for by money from Patreon and AdSense and stuff like that. Um, now that's Patreon that has been built up over time over the course of doing uh, Mortal Realms magazine. Um, so it wasn't intended for the new phones but I was buying the Mortal Realms magazine with my own money. So it all balances out in the end. Um, the channel uh, should I say hobby wise or channel wise? Yeah so channel wise I'm hoping to get because I've got this new phone I'm hoping to get more videos recorded for the channel um, in the not too distant future because recently you'll have noticed I've been doing more hobby hangout type videos, live videos, um, just uh, to make it easy on my phone because my phone was my phone's been on the way out for a little while now. My other phone, I'll still be using it now and again. I'll try using it for like a, a second camera angle for when I do the battle reports and stuff like that, just a solid camera angle. Um, and uh, this one I'll do most of the filming on. Um, but yeah, the, it's, uh, it's it's getting to the stage in its life, the other phone, where the battery lasts less and less. It's also got a cracked screen, which doesn't help it at all, because uh, you get more moisture in there and stuff like that, so it affects the internal workings of it. Anyway, it's a two-year-old phone, and phones are only designed to uh, be used for two years, but I'm hoping to get a bit more out of it by just using it as a camera, a uh, second camera option. Uh, the channel itself, um, like a, oh no, hobby now. So I've said about the channel and uh, my intentions for the channel are to do more pre-recorded videos. I'm waiting on um, from Primal War Games. There was a bit of delay in the dispatch from GW, um, but I'm waiting on the command edition of the new starter set. So I'll be doing the playing through the missions in that, and then I'm hoping to maybe adapt some of the conquest missions and uh, get some some more of that sort of thing filmed probably uh, with space marines and orcs but maybe with different armies every time like if I can build up my space marine force and my death guard force and then maybe have a little small necron force as well um, and I've got loads of other forces that I don't um, that I don't necessarily have a painted force for but if I do get time then paint up some of my other forces and there might be a little bit of variety on the channel but it's always going to be me versus me that's the uh, that's the slightly odd thing um however uh yes hobby wise i've been working on the indomitus marines i didn't get the indomitus set but i did get the indomitus the marines from the indomitus set because i like the marines but i didn't really fancy all of the neck ones however some of the neck ones that i wanted i keep saying however um, but some of the neck ones that i wanted don't come in any of the starter sets but it's not the end of the world um yeah if we've got the neck ones i probably would have ended up using some of them for conversions for a dark mechanicus force that i've had long-standing plans for but never quite got round to doing uh, yeah that's about everything i thought i'd just do this video but i realize i'm quite low down but not quite managed to angle, angle my camera right i could uh tilt the thing it's sat on and uh but then there's a risk of it risk of it falling and so i thought best to just uh, get me just in shot i tell you i could always crop this image and you'd never know any difference uh i'm hoping the mic picks me up well if it doesn't if i ever plan on doing any more of these in the future i'll try and make sure i bring my mic uh, that was another thing with my old phone as well the USB-C connection on it after I had the screen replaced the first time. Um, the USB-C connector, um, it wasn't always connecting so it was struggling to charge. Uh, you had to get it in really specific positions to charge. And also, uh, it didn't have an audio jack, a separate audio jack, so neither does this one. But at least the USB-C connector, I will be able to connect it to my microphone uh, using an adapter on this one and it shouldn't have any problems connecting. And uh, yeah, that is pretty much everything I've got to say for you. Look for more. I might put some pictures up of uh, the Marines I've been working. As you can probably tell. So what I'm going to do, or may have done already, is show you some pictures of miniatures that are um, miniatures from the Indomitus box set. 
the Space Marine half of those, but I've done a fair few conversions in there, so I thought I'd talk you through. The first one, and the main one I wanted to do, was I didn't like, oh, there was two really. I didn't like the Ancient, and I didn't like the Judicia as a Space Marine model. Just the head and the sword and everything. It doesn't look very Space marine to me. It looks, well, I say Space Marine, it looks marine for like more, I've, I've always seen the Judicia, I've looked at it, but that's a good Nurgle model. But it's obviously not meant to be a Nurgle model. So um, I'm going to be using that as a Nurgle model and I've converted a proxy Judicia. Another thing I've done, and I've mentioned this on a, the last live stream I did, I think, the last Hobby Hangout I did, I've um, converted a lot of chainsaws. So I'll, I'll give you a good look at them. So my Blade Guard veterans have chainsaws now. Uh, they're like two handed chainsaws. What I've done is taken um, the Thunder Hammer from the Vanguard veterans kit. And I've uh, chopped off the head of the hammer, and I'm, I'm just using the uh, the handle of the hammer as the handle of the sword. Um, so it's a really long handle to the sword, so it, look, it becomes like a two-handed chainsaw, effectively. Although obviously they're holding a the shield, the blade guard veterans. So it's uh, a bit dubious as to whether it would be any use to them. I guess they could plant the shield on the ground or sort of brace the shield on the hand somehow, put it on the backs. But I like the idea of them having these two-handed chainsaws anyway because, it, to me, it's reminiscent of Dawn's chainsaw. Um, the one you see on the Forge War model of Dawn, he's got like his hand on it and then a hand round, round the handle. But you can clearly see it's a two-handed chainsaw. So that's the kind of aesthetic I've gone for. And I'll put some pictures up now for you to have a look. Maybe some twirly images, we'll see. The Judicia conversion though, I, the, it was just like, oh, the overall aesthetic I didn't really like of, of the model for the Space Marine Army and particularly for my Imperial Fist Army. I think with a head swap it could be nice, um, but also I, I feel like it doesn't need to be missing on shoulder pad. Um, so what I've done, I've, I've actually taken a Stormcast Eternal model, which is more roby, if anything. Um, I'm not a huge fan of uh, the Stormcast models, until you swap the shoulder pads out and stuff like that. Um, so you'll know I was buying Mortal Realms magazine, so I've taken some of the Stormcast from that, or one of the Stormcasts at this stage, and converted it into my Judicia. So I'll whack it up on screen now, um, and you'll see he's got two shoulder pads, because I don't feel the need for him to not have two shoulder pads. He's got one of them two-handed chainsaws that I've talked so much about, and um, yeah, he's still got the, still got the uh, egg timer, the sand timer um, that makes the model that particular model it's like it's Bernard's watch basically isn't it if you've ever seen the show Bernard's watch it's a British kids TV show from like the late 90s um, and uh, this kid could stop time with this magical watch that he had uh, and then just go and do things um, so let's say if I don't know if this was ever an episode, but if, he, were, if uh, he, he was about to see a dog get run over, he might stop time and then get the dog out of the road and then start time again. And then everything would be okay. So yeah, this magical leg timer that the uh, Judicia's got, or yeah, Judicia, um, then he's still got that. And um, I've also um, very roughly taken a heavy bolt pistol, because obviously the Stormcast model doesn't have a heavy bolt pistol. just wanted a bolt pistol, like a different looking heavy bolt pistol, because uh, they're all holstered on these models. But what I wanted was like, I wanted maglons. So I took a heavy, a heavy bolt pistol from a Reaver and I've sort of shaved off the hand from the handle of the heavy bolt pistol. And it's a really rudimentary looking heavy bolt pistol, just maglock to his backpack because he's got ropes all over him. So, I mean, you could maglock it through the ropes, of course. Um, if you'd assume the magnet's strong enough, if it's strong enough to hold this massive gun, um, you'd assume it would be strong enough to hold through the ropes as well. However, I've just maglogged it to the back of the backpack. And in my mind, it's kind of like those uh, gunslingers you see in cowboy films sometimes where they just peek behind them for another gun kind of thing. Uh, it's that kind of feeling that I've gone for with that. Um, and he's got a cowled head as well. I couldn't find, um, I was looking, I was trying to decide between the Reaver head um, to give him that chaplain sort of feel or 
uh, what was the other hat? I think it was a Blake Guy veteran hat. Um, and I couldn't decide, and I think because he's got the robes on, I've always thought, and I'd seen conversions already, um, prior to me doing this one, where he's got a robe on, but no, no helmet or anything. But I looked at a kit that I bought when I was almost getting back into the hobby in like the, the mid noughties, Forbes, um, the Dark Angels Veterans kit, and they've got a rogue head with almost like a very similar sort of mask to the Blade Guard Veterans. So we use that head and I put that on it um, because it keeps the sort of um, the feel of hiding, hiding your face underneath the rogue head. Um, but it allows you to uh, give him a better look, I think. It's, it's supposed to be like a Shroud of Silences mask, isn't it, I think, in the law. Um, so I think that's why they have that sort of data across his face, desert scarf kind of thing, um, across his face. Um, but it just looks weird to me. It, it looks like, again, that's another thing that looks like it has fit more on a Nurgle miniature to me. Um, like, they're protecting themselves from from the purity of the air that doesn't have Nurgle's blessing in it. I don't know, something like that. But yeah, that's always looked more Nurgle to me, so that's why I think that miniature, I think it'll make a good Death Guard miniature. Um, yeah, so I've done, I've taught you through the Blade Guard, I've taught you through the Judicia. What else can I talk you through? Um, I didn't do much on the Captain. I'm trying to think if I did anything on the Captain, actually. No, the only thing I've done is just stuck the Imperial Fist shoulder pad on it. Uh, I didn't do anything on the Chaplain either, just the Imperial Fist shoulder pad on there. What else? The uh, the assault marines, really. They're the, they're the main other conversions that I've done. So I've taken to get me a bit of variation of pose. I've taken some of the easy to build blue plastic, easy to build intercessors. Not the new ones, but the original ones that had the heavy bolt rifles or bolt rifles, whatever they're called. Yeah. So I've done conversions using the intercessors. Uh, the call them assault marines or assault intercessors, aren't they? Essentially, the result marine does the same thing, more or less, it's just they're a bit bigger. Um, yeah, so I've... Ah, there's another one. Uh, characters. So, I've used a couple of the easy-to-build intercessors, the old, the original ones, um, to convert a bit more variety of pose into my assault intercessors. But I've also used one of them as the basis for my ancient, because I didn't like all the robes on the ancient. And those robes that go over his shoulders, and the fact that, again, he's missing a shoulder pad. I'm not a huge fan of that. Um, so, I think I took the sergeant model from the Easy to Build Intercessors. I shaved off the Aquila on the chest plate, and I've done that on five of the Intercessors as well, to add a bit more variety in there. I just shaved and filed off the Aquila. And then, um, I've taken the arm from the Ancient that's holding the banner. And he's holding it, but he's holding it at an, at an angle now, um, which I really like because um, you're not always going to be planting it on the ground and stood there uh, stoically waiting for the opponent to head towards you and stuff, are you? Um, and I've decided it actually looks good with him holding that hand. I didn't originally like that relic uh, bony hand that the ancient was holding, but I quite like it now on him. I've given them all the King's Fists that are from Pop Goes the Monkey on Shapeways and that's pretty much it. You'll you'll see the conversions that I've done on the Assault Marines. What I'll do is show five Assault Marines and then I'll show uh, the five uh, other Assault Marines. So I've done five converted, five not converted. Ooh, that's tiny. So I'm just watching a van squeezing through a tiny gap there with a the wagon going round and round about. There was no incident, not to worry. Um, anyway, yes, that's pretty much everything. So, I should have shown you everything I've been working on in terms of Indomitus Marines. I've still got a little bit of work to do on things like the Ancient. Uh, there's a bit of gap filling that needs doing with a bit of green stuff. And was it the Ancient or was it? I think it might have been, yeah, it was the Judicia. Um, I've given him a Reaver forearm, the one that I took the gun off, and that's what's holding the chainsaw. However, um, the chainsaw arms on most of these miniatures, the one that's holding the chainsaw on the assault rings and stuff like that, it's got like this gauntlet kind of look to it. So I want to try with green stuff. I'm not sure if green stuff works quite up to it. 
or want to try and uh, convert a gauntlet up to to match the rest of the force really um, so he's got that gauntleted arm and uh, you know the classic like knightly gauntlet am I in the right gear? yes I am um, yeah there's more curved and uh, a bit wider at the elbow you see it on the Stormcast miniatures a lot um, but the marine miniatures it's a bit more techy there might be a bit of a screen on there and stuff like that um, so yeah I need to or I'd like to at least attempt to convert up one of those gauntlet arms and that's pretty much everything. Um, I might as well leave it there for now, guys. You'll hopefully have seen things spinning round and stuff. Um, but yeah, that's it. I've got to get back on to working on Gaskell as well. Um, I've got a quiz to prepare for this weekend for my mates. And after that, maybe Sunday, if I don't do anything Sunday, I might look at trying to uh, crack on a bit more with Gaskell get a bit more work done there but then I'll have hopefully by then I'll have um, some Necron miniatures to paint but I'm planning on doing a really quick simple paint job with them because I'm going to be too into Necrons to be honest but these miniatures I think they lend themselves quite well to quick paint jobs as a lot of Necron miniatures in the past have as well because you can just do a quick dry brush and a wash and stuff and then you're pretty much up to a good standard with the Necrons. Anyway I'll leave it there for now guys. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you on the battlefield. Before you go, don't forget to give the video a like if you've enjoyed it. Any questions you've got, you can ask in the comments below. There's a button here for you to subscribe if you've not already done so, and a Patreon link here if you'd like to support the channel. There's also a couple of videos here for you to check out at your leisure. Thanks very much for watching guys, and I'll see you on the battlefield.